Hey, Social Cam, what's good? It's your girl, Eve Ghetto Barbie. You know what it is. You know how I do. Okay, listen, I really am flattered by the fact that my girlfriends, like, listen to my stories. Because I don't have you guys here to tell about my stories. So, who else is going to listen to me, right? I don't have my friends and my family. So, listen, let's cut to the motherfucking chase. Because I know you have been waiting to hear about what happened with this motherfucking German guy, the golden boy, and how I got my black ass out that motherfucking condo. So I'm about to tell y'all ass right now. Okay, I got dogs running around the house. I'm getting ready to go on with my girlfriends. Hold on. Oh, I should mention that if you are underage and, or if you are offended by foul language and sexual content, you should not watch this video because it's going to be all of that. It's going to be some... It's going to be some foul language. It's some motherfucking sexual content. Content. So don't watch. If your motherfucking ass is faint of heart. Okay, listen. Fast forward. Let's get to the job at hand. Remember how I had told y'all that I had went to this guy's house, this German guy, Boris, who we're calling the Golden Boy. <coughs> and I had came out the fucking room where the shrine was in, right? So... And he was, and I came out the fucking room, and by the grace of God, it, was, it might have been 15 seconds when I came out of that room, and then I was standing in the hallway, and I was standing in the fucking hallway, so clearly, the crazy fucking shrine room was to the right, and the bathroom was to the left. So when I was standing in the hallway, and he came around the corner to the kitchen, he did not know from which room I came from, right? I was standing in the middle of the fucking hall, and that's why I, why I was able to redirect his ass to go and get some oil to come and rub my feet. Okay, that's where we at right now. If you haven't, if you are not at that point, rewind and go back to the other video, because we moving on. Okay, now listen to this. So then, now, I'm like a fucking full alert. I am aware fully that I'm in a condo with a fucking psychopath, okay? I'm in the room with motherfucking, what's his name, Norman Bates. Fucking crazy ass motherfucking, uh, Jeff, not Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, what's his name, Ted Bundy. Okay, Ted Bundy, someone who can appear and look Totally fucking normal, be successful, be very articulate, but be a motherfucking serial killer. Crazy pants for real. So now I'm in the, aware that I'm in the presence of that kind of energy. So I get his ass back to the couch and we dr have a little sh drink and we're drinking our wine. And he, oops, sorry, my girlfriend is here. I was about to sit down. She is here, but she doesn't want to be on camera. Okay, so listen, uh, we go and we sit on the couch and then. As we sit on the couch and he starts rubbing my feet, he's sitting at my feet and I'm sitting on the couch, right? And I have my degree in psychology and there is a thing that's called disassociation. And disassociation occurs when you are sociopath or psychotic or schizophrenic or multiple personalities. Even if you are a, a business person, you're able to remove yourself from that situation and disassociate. Okay, so as he's sitting on the floor rubbing my feet, I completely watch him disassociate. So it was like he was there rubbing my feet, but he was standing from a space outside of himself watching. And then as he was rubbing my feet, he started to go through this whole fucking checklist of everything that we had talked about during our relationship together. It was like he was sort of going through a checklist to make sure that he was still staying in character and that he was doing all of the checklists for the plan that he had made. Okay, so listen. <laughs> As he was doing that, he was rubbing my feet. The motherfucker was rubbing my feet. And then he got to rubbing my feet. He was like getting rougher. He was like, you know, I really hate when women lie. He's like, you know, I've trusted a lot of women and they have broken my heart. And I'm never going to let that happen again. And he was fucking rubbing my feet and going through all these changes. Hold it. Hold on. I promise. I'm going to tell you the rest of this. We're at the 429 mark. I have to stop. Hold that thought.